Hey what's up guys, Exalted here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you 5 tips you either don't remember or for some reason you stopped using. Now since my comeback to YouTube 2 weeks ago, you guys have been loving my videos, but you've really been missing out on my godly tweets, so go follow my Twitter. But with that being said, let's get straight into this high quality video thanks to the spectacular people using code EXALTED in the item shop. Getting right into tip number one, we have one of my favorite disengage moves that's insanely advanced. Imagine your opponent is on that platform and you need to escape, you're not going to be editing an arch because you will hit your head, you're going to be editing the whole wall away, and from here you can go ahead and slip out of sight. I make it look easy because I'm goaded, but it really does require a lot of practice. From there you have so many options like building up, shooting your opponent, or separating yourself to buy time to heal or do whatever you need to do. To practice this, I highly suggest you learn what heights of the cone you can jump from to still make it on top of the floors. What makes this so difficult is not hitting your head on the way out of the box. This is simply just another option for escape when you have a pyramid on the ground. Your opponent will never expect this because performing this move is so difficult they will really wonder where you went for a second. Now this next trick is great because it's just like tip number 4, it's an extremely consistent way to phase. To do this you're going to want to place one wall on top of your opponent's box, epic patch day version where you would place two walls and phase through the corner, but now all you have to do is stand against the wall, walk backwards, and break the cone. You will phase right through it and your opponent will have no idea that your next pickaxe swings are destroying his floor. But this leads us straight into what I'm going to show you in tip number 3 as they go hand in hand. Tip number 3 is one of the best ways to approach a 1x1 that you want a W key. The ramp sets you up to protect yourself with a right hand peek while visually showing you all the different pieces you can finesse. But most people forget that you can take someone's floor through a pyramid. This is why it works so well with the pyramid face. Now obviously, just like all my tips and tricks videos, I'm going to be showing you real clips and scenarios of me using these tricks to prove that they're actually viable in real games. But first, let's get straight into my favorite phase technique. For tip number 4, this is a fantastic and old way to deal with a 1x1 when approaching it from below. Well, it doesn't have to be from below, but it's really quick and efficient when it is from below because your opponent can't see you and usually isn't expecting it. But all you're going to do is you're going to edit the floor like so, and when you run diagonally into the corner of the wall in your floor, it'll allow you to phase right through it. Now obviously, running into an enemy's box can really be kind of sus, so what you can do is you can barely move forward just enough to barely phase and shoot your opponent pretty much right through their wall. This will also allow you to back out for safety. But this leads us into my favorite tip. This is the most 200 IQ bait that works extremely well when you have a little bit of game sense. What you're going to do is you're going to place a ramp on your opponent's wall, split it, then reset it above you. Now from here, you're going to keep looking up and start an edit to prepare yourself to flip the ramp backwards. You need to do all these edits individually so that when your opponent gets baited and shoots the ramp, it will break in one shot. From here, you now have the most free damage and can easily separate yourself with another ramp from your opponent. Now if I missed any tips, let me know in the comments below. Now enjoy all these clips of these tips, and if you want more, use code EXALTED. It really does mean a lot. Hopefully I'll get third party. Oh! Oh my goodness gracious love. <laughs> 